When engaging in therapy for the first time, most people come with particular problems in mind, often hoping for a quick fix. And sex therapy is no different. Individuals frequently present with goals such as reducing unwanted sexual fantasies, curbing what they believe to be excessive or unusual sexual behaviors, or attempting to treat a sexual dysfunction. When it comes to couples, many view therapy as a space for mediated reenactments of bedroom and relationship disagreements. They see the therapist as a referee, oh, ready to declare ready. a victor in each bout. In reality, these surface problems are frequently symptoms of much larger issues and often must be placed on hold while more information is gathered. The therapist must delve deeper into the psyche of the individuals, searching for origins of insecurities, patterns of behavior, communication deficits, and much, much more. In regard to sex therapy, this investigation comes in the form of a thorough psychosexual health history. This type of interview aims to fully explore an individual's sexual identity in order to better understand its impact on self-perception and interpersonal relationships. As is best with most things, it starts with the basics, covering topics such as anatomy, gender, and orientation. For some, these questions may seem unnecessary, with obvious answers, while others find them to be surprisingly revealing, admitting that they have previously spent little time thinking about their sexual identity. It is not uncommon for individuals to express insecurity or unhappiness with one body part or another. Many people have limited exposure to the full range of, quote, normal anatomy, bringing about worries regarding size, shape, coloration, and more. For others, the very presence of certain features can lead to discomfort when anatomy does not align with either their internal sense of gender or how it is perceived by others. Finally, it can be distressing to discover that one's attractions lie outside of personal or social expectations, leading to labels that come with many consequences. When initiating sex therapy, it is important to identify each individual's starting point. Some may demonstrate full awareness of their issues, but lack the skills or knowledge necessary to work through them. Others may remain in denial or actively suppress parts of themselves as a form of self-protection, while yet more may demonstrate a complete lack of insight until provided with language and education to aid them in their exploration hmm. and expression of their sexual identity. Furthermore, it is a misconception that these issues are relegated to the young, inexperienced, and single. The truth of the matter is, challenges with one's sexual identity can arise at any time regardless of age, sexual experience, or partner status. In fact, one of the most difficult components of sex therapy can be finding the courage to share new insights about one's sexual identity with a long-term partner. All of these concerns can lead to self-loathing, shame, and fear of judgment and rejection from partners or society in general. As you can imagine, these feelings are not conducive to a healthy sex life and are often at the heart of many common complaints. And herein lies the role of the psychosexual health history and the sex therapist. So although you may seek sex therapy in search of quick answers to what you think are simple questions, be prepared for the possibility of much, much more. And we've only just begun. So remember to stay tuned for more.